It's a brand new season, baby. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. Touchdown. It's a brand new season, been a long way, saw some players up, put them on my highlight tape, college series here, gotta hear my name on draft day, AR in the pocket, automatic, that's a close case, excitement building up, I ain't been asleep in three days, gotta make a statement to the scouts on the first play, only way to win, you gotta dominate in each phase, offense, defense, and can't forget the special teams, I ain't work for nothing, went through summer camp with two a days, gotta win the natty, only satisfied with first place i hear them haters hating on my team but i ain't hearing them if they line up on the other side then we ain't fearing them one false move hit stick defense killing them knew them boys were sweet up inside banana peeling them we up next time to show we the best around rfl college series rep your team or rep your town you're looking at the future of the league yeah it's here and now step on the field boy you best believe it's going down because yeah you know we scoring touchdown 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 Touchdown, 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 touchdown. What's good, Relocation Football League fans? It is time for the Big Ten Conference Championship. And we are here in Indianapolis at the Colts Stadium as we have Penn State taking on Ohio State in this one. And this matchup for most of the time has been Michigan and Ohio State, but finally Michigan and Ohio State not going at it this time. This time, Penn State enters the chat and a shot at trying to win their first Big Ten championship in RFL College Series history. We go back to College Series 1. Ohio State won it first there. Minnesota, when they were part of College Series, won it beating, Ohio, beating Iowa back in CS2, 26-17. And the last two games after that for the Big Ten Conference Championship. Ohio State, they've got three total looking for their fourth. As both of those times they beat Michigan and they look to try to beat Penn State here. Let's go ahead and uh, I don't know why I got Penn State. I must have kept my controller my uh, computer on Penn State. Excuse me. I'll just do this here and then we'll go ahead and hit that restart button. This game is about ready to start. Let me know in the chat who you guys got winning. Number one team in the country, Ohio State. Last time they lost the game, it was this season way back in week five against the Penn State Nittany Lions. And they haven't lost the game since. Now, Big Ten Conference Championship. Here's the rematch. And they are back as they take this one from the eight yard line. Rocking the all red against the all white. There's a flag on the field, more than likely. This is gonna be coming back due to holding on the return team. So that's going to cut him back there, Mitch Rossi. And so he'll be inside the 20 now. First and 10, five wide empty set for Dylan Lewis. Didn't even get a proper introduction for him, but he's on the field in the first play. He's going to complete it. Out to Steve McCaskill. So he'll get to the 30-yard line. 
solid eight yard gain on the play there. This has been an explosive offense as of lately. And this is the second highest scoring team in the RFL Collins series, averaging almost 33 yards a game. There's a throw. That's going to be a first down, excuse me, 33 points a game. As that's checked down and completed out to Euro Wimbush. Will Winbush declaring for the RFL draft this year. After spending two seasons, well now three, at the college level. First started out here against Penn State facing his former team. As he'll cut back inside, and he'll hold that to a three-yard game. He has started out his collegiate career with the Nittany Lions. Of course, didn't have the all-too-productive season then. That was back in CS3. Second year, transferred over here to Ohio State. And Ohio State able to win him his first national championship on the road to try to give them, give him his second. As Ohio State looks to win their third consecutive national championship in the RFL College Series. Of course, two back-to-backs -back never been done. Three is just going to be ridiculous if the Buckeyes can get that done. Dylan Lewis on second. And seven, moving around, and there goes the Karate Kid with the karate-like throw, passing that out to Steve McCaskill with defense doing a good job as he'll hold that to just three yards once again. Now third and four. Ohio State leads the series between these two. All-time is three and two in the college series, and Steve McCaskill on the out route Going to have a Buckeyes first down once again. Third reception already, and we've seen Steve McCaskill be a force to be reckoned with on this offense. He's had some issues catching the ball cleanly. He's had some just flat-out drops at time, but that was earlier within the season. Seems he's got much better hands now and more consistent on coming down with those. He's always been a pretty solid route runner, as you can see right there. It's a good out route break the first down. This will be a throw over the middle, and they will connect out to the tight end, Arturo Flores. First down, Buckeyes, 18 yards. What makes Ohio State dangerous, I mean, these weapons that they got on the outside, just everywhere, these guys can click at any moment. And we've seen games in which Dylan Lewis, he, he doesn't have to play his best football majority of the time for them still to be able to pull out soundly in games. Now you can see some performances of Lewis where he's thrown a two to three interceptions and they still dominate and win. Somehow he still at times manages to throw more touchdowns than even that. So when you got a situation like that with your quarterback pretty much being able to try anything, he's not scared to throw the ball. That is dangerous, and here he is. He is on fire right now as he is going to connect with his wide receiver, Quintaro Sheffield. First and 10. This is looking all too easy right now for the Buckeyes. And he's looking very calm. I mean, that's all kinds of protection, all time, kinds of time there in the pocket. Didn't even really need it. That route was wide open. Quickly fired. And they are marching down this field with East. Lewis underneath. Back to Sheffield. He'll be wrapped up. Tarl Sheffield able to get three yards on the play. Now third and seven as the tackle was made there by Jacobs. Last time these guys played, Penn State was able to force four turnovers on the defense and on the offense and this is a wild play that could have been intercepted falls incomplete he had four turnovers overs in that game and dylan lewis didn't have the best of games in that one speaking of three interceptions again he had three interceptions in the game in which they lost against penn state to one touchdown great start right now but can he get a first or a touchdown here on third and seven and that's not going to happen just Check down into the flats. Euro Winbush unable to keep his footing. And now they'll have to settle for three. So Penn State's defense bending but not breaking. And here goes Lincoln Colt for the game's first points. And the kick. It's good. 3-0. Buckeyes. 
Shout out to the Relocation Football League community. Big Ten Conference Championship game you are watching here in the RFL College Series for CS5, our fifth season of the College Series. New things coming. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for the Conference Championship Game of the Week. The SEC Championship, number six, Tennessee, taking on number three, LSU. Same time as all the games have been this week, 8 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you tune in. Should be a great one. Ohio State having a great drive. Unfortunately, couldn't end it, end it with seven. But points on the board nonetheless. Colton going to kick this one off. And a knee will be taken. And last time these guys played, it was this guy right here who put on a clinic and was able to lead the Penn State Nittany Lions to victory. This is Sean Clifford. He went 28 for 37 in that game, 300 yards on the dot, three touchdowns to one interception. Of course, that defense with the four turnovers helped him out as well. But he is going to be the key factor to Penn State's success. They took some upsetting losses that really hurt them this year. I mean, they had all the makings to make it to the RFL Con Series playoff this year. A big upset loss. Speaking of Tennessee, after that loss to the Volunteers, and that is going to be a first down play for Penn State. Good start there for the Nittany Lions as Saunders falls in his first catch for 11 yards. But yeah, after the big blowout in primetime, losing to Tennessee, they went on to lose two more games on a three game losing streak, which knocked them out of the playoffs. Pressure's coming. He'll throw this away. Good defense by Ohio State. Yeah, they lost to Washington and Wisconsin. Two teams under 500. Washington only winning two games this season. And Wisconsin only winning four. So that goes to show you very upsetting losses for Penn State. Won everything since, but tough way to go out. Here's a throw. That's incomplete. Third and ten. Shotgun. Sean Clifford has got the check down, and that is a great open field tackle by Caden Ferragamo. Fourth down. And this is what's going to be different in this matchup. This Ohio State defense in the second half of the season has really turned it up. They've been able to generate great pass rush with their D-line. We saw in the previous play before that one. And the defense has always been pretty solid at their coverage, but with that being a factor as well, it just makes this defense so much better than how they started off. I'm going to take this one from about the 18 and out to about the 32-yard line. The return will end by Ibuka. Ohio State in control early here within this game, but only a three-point lead for the Buckeyes. Penn State... Still very much within this game. They would love to have that same kind of march as they were on last time before they had to settle for a field goal. See if they can finish the drive this time around. Underneath, he's got the completion out to Arturo Flores as he'll be a yard short of the first down. That's going to be a nine-yard gain on the play. And Arturo Flores, so athletic at that tight end position. A lot of athletic tight ends. The freak of nature is at that position here in the RFL College Series. Looks to be setting up the running back screen. Finally escapes, trying to break the tackle. That's going to be a tackle made by Penn State's defensive lineman. That is Marcus Arthur. And he almost was able to get out of there. He saw Arthur was trying to go for the ball. Instead stretches out. And secures the tackle. Third and three. Nice pass, but it will not be held on to. Dropped by Sheffield. Fourth down. 
So Penn State able to return the favor themselves, getting Ohio State's offense off the field. And although they went on that streak and Penn State had that fall off, this is still a solid team. I mean, it went eight and four, had some huge wins under their belt this season. And included, of course, Penn State. No, excuse me, Ohio State. It's a return. Brought down at about the 19. It also fell a point short to LSU. So, I mean, Penn State, when it comes to competition, other than that blowout that took place against Tennessee, they played up the competition and have done fairly well. Definitely not a team you can sleep on at any moment. This team can get back to early season four. First and ten. Underneath on the check down. Big hit stick. Caden Ferragamo already making his presence known here early. A good wrap-up tackle to end the drive. Last time out, and this time starting out with the hit stick. Still a solid gain for the Nittany Lions. That'll be a six-yard gain. Shotgun now here for Sean Clifford. Four-man rush, good pickup block. That's going to be caught, and a good job by the defense as they create a wall, inches short of the first down. Time tackle. Heard in inches. Haven't seen a run yet with Ford. And you will see it here. And Ford going to drive his way forward for a first down. It's two yards on his first carry. Not much, but enough to move the chains nonetheless. And that's all you need. Great dive, good push by the line. Saw Harris for a second, thought he was about to get off and make a play, but actually that was Shackleford. Gun bunch. Throw into the flats here, and immediate tackle made by Xavier Spriggs. Xavier Spriggs also declaring for the RFL draft already. It's his second year as a sophomore in the RFL College Series. And regardless of the outcome of this game, Ohio State is still officially in the RFL playoffs, no, the College Series playoffs. Check down on the spot and a big first down gain right there. It's Britton Strange. And powers way forward, four catches for the tight end. Yeah, now at this point, I mean, this game is really all about seeding. If Ohio State wins, they remain the number one team. They lose, they can range in all kinds of different spots in the top four. Pressure coming. Down he's going to go for a sack. That's Russell Shackleford. And he had pressure coming from both sides. Lawton was coming through, but the big DN gets there first. And that is going to be a huge loss. Second and 17 now for Penn State. Three man rush, they'll quickly throw over the middle of Strange. And Strange will fall down at the 44 yard line. They'll gain back the yards they lost off the sack. It's now third and 10. Needing a big play here through the air. And again, just trying to hit the drag. So that's not going to work out. Penn State's offense having some real trouble against Ohio State right now. The defense locked in. They'll force a punt.
Field this from about the 13 and down at the 15. With Puka on the return. First quarter almost in the books here in this Big Ten Conference Championship game. It's just a 3-0 ball game. 37 seconds left. Ohio State, of course, having the nod at the moment. Shotgun for Lewis. A motion in Sheffield into a bunch look. And over the middle, they go right to him on the drag. Lewis going to get to the 21-yard line. And that completion is 11 of 13. Now in the backfield all by himself. Empty set. Quick throw. That's knocked out. Incomplete. Good play made there by Joey Porter Jr. And that is going to be the end of the first quarter of the Big Ten Conference Championship. Again, if you're first time tuning in wondering why Michigan's on the field, that's because uh, they were in the championship last year, did not re-edit these stadiums. But this is officially the RFL College Series Big Ten Conference Championship game for Season 5. Ohio State looking to keep the drive going. They need four yards. Lewis. There goes that karate kid style throw for the first down. Get this one to about the 35 to 36 yard line. And it's just nobody makes this throw or does this throw as often as, as he does and accurately. See in the chat, guys already putting the twos up. Appreciate you guys. Second quarter underway. Single back formation. Seven step drop back for Lewis. Fires over the middle, and this one off the mark. Too much float on the pass. Second and 10, Lewis, on with a draw, broken tackle, Euro Wimbush. Look at a solid game there. That's gonna be four yards on the play, third and six. Hey man, that's all you right there. I don't know what week you started throwing like that, but <laughs> haven't stopped since. Didn't start off the season like that. I guess you got your own little style. Here's a throw. And that is going to be a completion out to Kingston Bryson for the first down. Kingston Bryson has really come on in the second half of the season. Really earlier, before, like towards week four, week five. Wasn't getting as many opportunities. But he is just a big body wide receiver standing at 6'6". And we call him LeBron because that was literally the name he submitted to make his player. But, of course, couldn't accept LeBron James. A nice sideline catch right there this time by McCaskill. Yeah, big-time playmaker outside. And Steve McCaskill is doing a great job. He's running these routes, getting open. Same back formation, a run inside. That shut down. Penn State is on it. Big defensive tackle, Jordan Van Den Berg. Shutting it down. And Ohio State, where well, they get more dangerous is when they start running the football effectively. There's another throw. That's going to be intercepted. Joey Porter Jr. Cutting back the other way. And this is why he's playing on Sundays, even though he got cooked by Travis Etienne today in real life. Making plays 
back at the college level for the Nittany Lions. That's a great jump on the football. And this is why they tell you as a wide receiver, you've got to come back on those routes if the ball is just a tad bit late. I don't think it was really too late. I just think it was good timing by uh, a great reaction, I should say, by Joey Porter. So I'm guessing that's probably why he didn't think he needed to come back to the football. I mean, he jumped that pretty fast. First and 10. Trying to set up that halfback screen. He gets absolutely blasted on the play. Lucky that wasn't a fumble. Sean Clifford being hit by the big red. It's second and 10. Flag on the play. That's going to hurt Penn State even more. So lose them five yards. Second and 15 now. Caught moving early. Strew Shelton. Right tackle. Now, Ohio State, they've been doing some damage. Penn State, and he's still keeping a three point ball game. Offense hasn't really helped them out too much. Bunch look. They will run this inside and four. It's going to run through Ohio State's defense. Both teams not really utilizing that run game as much. I'm pretty sure that might come later on down the line. Third and nine. This is all on Clifford. And Clifford's got a completion. Big first down game. As he'll get inside the three. Penn State moving the chains. Nice touch on the pass here by Clifford. Get another look at this. Coming from right to left. And that sails right over the head of Harrison as he was in coverage in the flats on another potential receiver. Solid dump off as he'll be at the 29 now. Play action, Clifford. Got good time, throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. They're gonna take the lead, huge shot. Big time catch by Keandre Lambert Smith. That was an absolute dime dropped off by Clifford. Right over the shoulder and right where Dean just couldn't get over there fast enough. Actually, Wardell Mack, excuse me. Who's going to review this, but clearly had feet in. Wardell Mack tried to knock it loose last second, but that is a touchdown all day. For the Nittany Lions. Penn State can't knock these guys out the playoffs. But one thing they can do is say, hey, we swept the Buckeyes this year. And that is going to stand as a touchdown. To hear the reaction of Ohio State fans, you could have swore they were home. So Penn State leads now in the Big Ten Conference Championship. And the extra point's good. Four plays, 53 yards. Penn State up seven to three. Ben Lewis warming up and man, we got ourselves a battle. That's all it took. I mean, Penn State's defense has been playing good. And to only hold Ohio State to three points the last couple of drives that they've had. And that's great. Offense responds like that. The first to get on the board with a touchdown. They keep this up. It can be a long night for the Buckeyes. So I'll start at the four-yard line. Trying to get busy on the shoot kick. Get to about the 25. 
Did Cooper on that return. The offense looking to get their first touchdown in response. So we know three teams right now officially in the RFL College Series playoffs this year. We've got Baylor. We've got uh, Ohio State. Single back run here. There was your one just getting a touch. And of course, after last night's game in the Pac-12 Conference Championship, Oregon punching their ticket in for the first time in school history in the College Series. Two brand new teams that's never been to the playoffs getting their first shot at it. Start next week with Baylor and, and Oregon. And a shutdown in the backfield. So that's going to be no yards gained on the play. And we will get to figure out who that fourth team is going to be tomorrow after the SEC Championship and the Conference Championship game of the week. Tennessee versus LSU definitely should be a great one. And there goes Lewis throwing across his body, and he could have kept running for the first down himself. I mean, it was a good read. There was nobody on him. But again, just trying to do too much, and that's just kind of what he's done this season. He got so much confidence, I guess, in his ability to make certain throws and also his defense to give him the ball back. But sometimes he gets a little bit too careless. Fair catch going to be called, and... Just lazily throws that ball across his body, and that one's off the mark. And I know he's got to be kicking himself a little bit after that. But he could have taken off himself. Got that first down there. Now Penn State with an opportunity to extend their lead. State can be a second half team. So Penn State, they want to take advantage of these opportunities and pile it on them. First and 10. Pressure's coming down. He's going to go for a sack. Hayden Ferragamo having himself a game here in the conference championship. Making plays, and he came in hot off the blitz. He's right through. Six yard loss, gonna bring up a second and 16 now on their center. Quick step back, throws, that's broken up incomplete. Wardell Mack on the play. Third down. Penn State's got themselves in a tough situation here. Watch out for Lambert Smith to come out in a gun bunch. Got times, got a receiver and a first down big time hit stick by Harrison Jr. But he will hold on and move the chains for the Nittany Lions. K.J. Harrison, I don't know why I keep saying junior, he's just straight up Harrison. But he didn't turn him into a junior, he sunned him on that hit. Unfortunately, unable to force the fumble he was looking forward to. Trips look to the right side, here goes play action. Getting pressure, and he's going to take off, Sean Clifford. You know he does this well, trying to dunk it for a first down. Comes up short by a yard. Penn State giving big time effort. They're not playing around. They're trying to win this conference championship. They say this will be the first time in school history in the Armfield College Series in which they will have done so. It's their first conference championship appearance as a flag on the field. And of course, that's going to hurt. Right there, a yard away from moving the chains again. Now they're going to need six yards. Just over five minutes to go in this first half. Bunch look to the left. And that play action again. Clifford trying to set his feet, getting outside the pocket. 
And as he throws, this is almost intercepted. Good pressure by Seth Brewer. Third and six. That is correct, Connor. Ohio State is in the RFO play College Series playoffs regardless, win or loss tonight. Of course, they want that win. If they win, they're going to remain the number one team. If not, that changes around, but a huge interception plucked out of the sky by McAllister. Showed off the bunnies. Would have thought he had some Jordans on as high as he hopped for this. He just got the base Nikes. Ohio State defense, talk about them. I mean, these guys have turned it up a whole nother notch later in this season. And that is a huge play. Got to help out this offense. Just has not been able to score a touchdown at this point. It's been tough. Lewis going to be under center, setting up. Play action of his own, throws, that's a big catch by Kentaro Sheffield, and he'll find himself inside the 20. First down, Buckeyes, four receptions, 45 yards for KS. Not an easy catch to make over the middle when you got to run those slants and deep crosser routes and you're running into a linebacker. You don't know what type of heat he's going to bring and a way to bring it to him. Get those extra yards. Lewis fires on the sidelines. Catch is made, but was he in bounds? They're going to say he slid a foot in, so that is going to be a five-yard gain. Arturo Flores hauling it in. Second and five, empty set. Lewis got a four-man rush. Line holding up well. He's got all kinds of time. He's got a receiver. Steve McCaskill, first and goal, Buckeyes. May just might be able to put this one in the oven. Four yards away. Lewis. Trying to scramble, he's going to fumble. Picked back up by Ohio State. Euro Lindbergh is trying to maneuver his way out of the traffic with the Lions pouncing all over him. Second goal. And yeah, just didn't take the right angle to escape out the pocket. Ran pretty much right into the defender there. Isaac knocking it loose. Second and goal, they're going to run it. Trying to cut back, but a good tackle going to be made there by the free safety, Keaton Ellis. Third and goal. And they're going to need all this if they want the lead. If not, they're going to have to settle for three at the 12-yard line. Lewis underneath. And that's not going to get it done. Catch made by Kingston Bryson. Proof down. So Penn State's defense still playing tough. And this was a great performance by the Nittany Lions. Even to hold them just to three to keep it a one-score game with the lead. After that interception, I mean, that's big time. Lincoln Colt to make it a one-point game. And the kick. It's good. Seven to six. Penn State still leading in the Big Ten Conference Championship. Two minutes and 31 seconds left in this conference championship game, and boy, it's been a war. 14 total points for him. 
So they'll kick this one off. As they feel from about the three. And posting through the traffic, he'll get to about the 31 yard line. Explosive return there by Nick Singleton. Sean Clifford. Back out onto the field. Just came off an interception. Defense was able to hold. Ohio State to just three points to still maintain this lead. See if they can get some more points before the end of this half. No run with four. Stiff arm. We get to the 35 yard line. That's going to be a four yard rush. Penn State's been fighting. This is a good game. Kind of got worried coming into this game. Thought Penn State would be looking like it did in the second half of the season. They've sharpened up. Here's a run inside and a first down with four. Only four carries for him. Still neither side running the football much. And he's only got four carries in this first half so far. That's a really good run. First down and 10. Split back formation. Throw, and that's going to be solid defense there by Xavier Spriggs. Xavier Spriggs. Two pass breakups now here tonight. Second and 10. Back in the gun bunch. Clifford missing too far ahead of Lambert Smith. He was wide open, could have got him the first down. Big third and 10. Hard count not jumping anyone off sides. Clifford. Getting outside the pocket, Ferragamo going to chase him down, and that'll bring up fourth. Timeout. And they're going to punt this one away. Narrowly escaped the sack for a one-yard gain. This punt not the best either. Minute and 28 seconds left in this first half. Still not a single team over double digits. Lewis getting outside the pocket. He's going to run, and he's going to have a first down. That'll stop the clock temporarily. His first scramble attempt where he's actually left beyond the line of scrimmage. Good for 11. decision here by Lewis this time learning from his mistake earlier he says hey if I got the space might as well take it might as well move the chains myself gets it done spreading out the field out routes going to be completed big first down they're going to say it's a fumble but I think he may have hit the ground first as the Catch was originally hauled, hauled in by Buka. Let's go look at this again. Makes the catch. Boom, takes the hit, and that knee hit the ground. Yeah, that, that left knee hit the ground first. Sean Clifford, 10 of 19, just barely over 50%. Waiting for that booth review. And there it is. Definitely was down first. Yep, that knee's clearly down, so Ohio State will be getting this one back. Definitely agree there, Connor. 
game is closer than I expected to be, but again, the last time they lost was against two teams, and it just seems like Penn State's just one of those teams that plays up and down to their competition. And so right now they got a tough team. They're playing up. They're playing up to Ohio State right now. This has been a great game. How long can they hold on to this one-point lead? Ohio State is on the march. Two timeouts. He'll throw over the middle. Tackles made to keep him short. Eight-yard gain for Sheffield. And there they are burning their second timeout, keeping one with 36 seconds remaining. Lewis, there goes that throw, first down. What a catch by Euro Wimbush. That stops the clock right at 30 seconds. Clock rolling again. Lewis into the flats here. And he should have just kept on his feet and got out of bounds. Now the clock is still running. He didn't gain much. This is still a 50-plus yard field goal attempt. And they're going to burn their final timeout. So more than likely, they might try this kick. And honestly, this is an easy kick for Lincoln Colt. He's been knocking them down from deep all season long. And this kick, it's money. No different. 9-3. Ohio State will take back the lead. This time by two. Said 9-3, 9-7, excuse me. Seven seconds left. It's Penn State that gets the ball to start the second half. Lincoln Colt looking to boom this one. And we'll see if this is a good enough return to Garner. Penn State potentially thinking, yeah, let's throw a Hail Mary bomb. This one going to be fielded short at the 10. And wisely done there just to bring some of the time off. All field goals for Ohio State. We yeah, have seen this before. We think back to the season opener against TCU in the explosive second half. Sean Clifford. Throws across his body in the heavy traffic. That's incomplete. That's going to be the end of the first half of play. Ohio State with the lead, 9-3. And Big Ten Conference Championship, very competitive. But different than expected. Low-scoring game here. We'll see how things go. In the second half, like I said, that's usually where you see Ohio State step things up. Penn State, they look good in that first half, especially defensively. Offense only get the only able to get that one touchdown you saw right there. They're going to have to step it up big time in this second half. Let me know in the chat who you guys got winning the Big Ten Championship. Is Ohio State still going to be able to remain the number one team? going into their playoff game in bowl week? Or will Penn State complete the sweep over the Buckeyes this season? Get those threes in the chat. Third quarter about to be underway. Again, I'll put that up after this. Second half now beginning as this kick is off and fielded at about the six yard line. Will be brought down at the 28. 8 p.m. Eastern. We've got the final conference championship game of the RFL College Series, the SEC Championship between number six Tennessee and number three LSU. Definitely should be a great game. The winner of this one will fill in the final spot for the RFL College Series playoffs to compete 
for CS5 National Championship. Let me know right now who you guys think is going to win that. Back out to Indianapolis. Clifford. A throw and a move almost intercepted by Russell Shackleford dropping back in coverage. That would have been a crazy big boy play right there, but just didn't have the hands. Got a wide open strange. And I think that might be a Mitten Lions first down, and it is. Great effort after the catch. Still pretty much an entire half of football to play here in this conference championship game. Penn State getting the first down. And a big hit in the backfield. Shackleford is balling. Hit him in the backfield, but knocked him forward for a one-yard gain. Let's see what second half adjustments has been made. Going to the flats here. Nice catch. Nice little quick out by Parker Washington. And that's Washington's first catch of the game. Six yards. Third and four. Big third down. Clifford missing on the open slant. He's missed quite a few passes over the middle. And those have been some big plays and opportunities missed by Clifford that could have resulted in first downs. There's another one there as they punt this away. And this is a good punt, as it'll be down at the five-yard line. Nice boot there by Amor Barney. It's good, Connor. Got some Ohio State alumni in the building looking to see their Buckeyes win a third straight conference title. Got the lead right now, but only by two. No need to drive 95 yards. They want to extend their lead as much as they can. Play action. Checks it down. Wimbush going to gain about five. Second down. It's a nice little solid play to give them some more breathing room away in their own end zone to avoid a safety. Winbush gets a carry. Nice lane. Tackle's going to be made north of the 20. For Buckeyes, first down. 28 yards. Tonight for Winbush, he's only been given those seven carries. Like I said, neither side run the ball, very pass heavy. Seen one interception today, so still for the most part, both teams have been fairly efficient through the year. This is what I think is going to separate a team, if they can find that balance in offense to run the football, and there goes another run. What a juke move, Winbush, it's a foot race. There he goes, breaks the tackle, but will be brought down at the 35-yard line. What a run. That's gotta be probably one of the nastiest juke moves we've seen this season. Dipped him in the saw something serious. Great blocks on the outside as well. This kid can get shifty. Lewis off the mark. It's his 30th pass of the night. Unable to connect. I yeah, wish we could have got another replay of that juke, man. That was, that was something epic. Biggest play of the game so far. 
Other than that touchdown started out by Penn State. And here was another two move as Kintal Sheffield. I want to join in on the uh, Sauce Condiments. First down. I go with the draw. Big hit, though. And that is going to be Curtis Jacobs. He's got him in the backfield for a loss of a yard here. Boom. Lined him up. Knew he had nowhere else to go but to run into him. So he gave it everything on that hit. Didn't drop any cookies, though. Second and 11, Lewis misses again. Had Kintal Sheffield wide open for the first down. Both of these quarterbacks just not all the way in sync just yet. A lot of missed opportunities through the air. Third and 11. I know Ohio State's got to be tired of all field goals right now. I mean, they got the lead, but... This isn't going to get it done. They need touchdowns. Four-man rush. Got a completion. And oh, my goodness. What a hit. And there goes Curtis Jacobs again. My goodness. Might as well call him Curtis Jackson for 50 cent. Boy needs to start singing at many men. But they're going to go for on first down. I formation, fullback dive, running through the defense. First and goal, Buckeyes. They'll be inside the five at the four. That's an amazing play call. Simple, but I mean, it's effective. Just need a few yards. Hand it off to your fullback. Hasn't been a fullback dive all game. Man, he just runs right through Kobe King. Lewis, good pocket. Throws, catches made by Flores. But they're going to say he did not have a foot down. It would be a challenge. It was close. Or are they just going to say he was completely out? Not seeing anything yet. I think he was completely out. And OSU is going to challenge it. They think he slid a foot. It looked close to me. Had a feeling that one of these were coming. Let's see. All he needs to do is slow. Nah, that shouldn't be a touchdown. As the catch is made right here, that foot is out. Then the slide. So, yeah, that should not be a touchdown if they overturn this. That will be wild. I think Ohio State's going to lose a timeout here. And they do. Not a bad challenge, though. It was close. I thought that back foot dra uh, dra uh, dragged first. Excuse me. Second goal. Lewis scrambling. Throws. Good defense. Joey Porter Jr. Putting his shoulder on the ball there. Knocking it loose. Penn State. Looking for the stop. Have not given up a touchdown yet. Third and goal. Dylan Lewis throws. And he's got it. First touchdown for the Buckeyes. And they will extend their lead as Dylan Lewis finds Kentaro Sheffield. First touchdown of the game. Could have came at a better time. This is going to extend them by eight points. Extra points going to put up by nine to make it a two-score game. And the kick is good. 16-7. 12 plays, 95 yards. They took it all away from that five-yard line after that great punt. Well-earned drive. Even went for it on fourth down. Ohio State was not going to be, not, be denied seven points at the end of that one. 
Crowd is live here. Nine point game in the Big Ten Conference Championship. Penn State haven't scored since the first half. They're looking to respond. Talked about Ohio State being that second half team. And they made the right adjustments, great play calls, big plays, had a big run by Euro Wimbush. Being gutsy. I'll take this one from the six. And to about the 26-yard line. Still a lot of football left to play in this one. Sean Clifford, 50% on the night. Still just one of one when it comes to touchdowns and interceptions. First and ten. These corners are going to be pressed up in the face of these receivers. They'll go with a draw wrapped up. Javier Wheatley on the tackle. One yard gain. And Penn State, they're going to have to look for some big plays. They've been utilizing that play action fairly well here. That's when what's been opened up their big plays of the night. Going to the flats. Big hit. Parker Washington getting absolutely flatlined by Brock Frederick, the poster boy. Third and nine. And over the middle, that is a great ball. Had beautiful touch on it. Washington is going to hold on this time. And he's going to move the chains. Only a second catch of the night, 22 yards. But a big gain. It's a nice catch. So everything executed perfectly there. Flag on the play. Offense, another false start. It's third time they've been called for this. They're pinning on uh, Mitchell, uh, excuse me, Michael McFadden. Got to be disciplined in games like this. Those five yards could cost them. Quick throw into the flat, strange. Wrapped up immediately. Good tackle by Spriggs. They'll get back four of the five yards they lost after the full start. Now second and 11. A run with four, and my goodness, what a hit stick by Javier Wheatley. That guy's going to be draftable. Generic defensive tackle, and he just sent forward backwards on his neck. That was nasty. Third and nine. Checks it down. Ferragamo says no. That's going to be well short of the first down. Oof. And a punt coming up for Penn State. He wasted no time, no wasted step movements or, or anything. He beelined it straight to four for that tackle. And this punt will make its way in the end zone for an Ohio State bounce. Offense will take over at the 25. Dylan Lewis. 26 to 36. Touchdown and interception too. Both of these quarterbacks have played fairly similar. Ohio State with the momentum right now. Can they continue to ride the wave? Six, 
Run inside. Here goes Euro Windbush. Man, he's killing it. 87 yards on 10 carries. And I think this is what Ohio State, when they don't run the ball much early on, this is what they love to do. They like to air it out, see if they can make the big plays through the air with Lewis and the receivers. And then they start to wear you down in the second half. Running with Will Wimbush. This is going to be a first down for Ohio State. Yeah, I already mentioned that earlier, Pecan. Will Wimbush entering the RFL draft. Completion and first down out to Sheffield. Let's go, come on. Play action for Lewis. He's got the connection. Sheffield, the grown man stiff arm, moving the chains again. Now put Lewis over 230 through the air passing. Draw play, great job. This is stuffed. Stop that immediately. Adisa Isaac. Forced a fumble, had a sack earlier. Still, Lewis ran into him. Nero Winbush ran into him as well. It's a great shed. Got off of Kendall Hall there. Second and 11. Completion into the flats on the drag. And that'll be three yards. Closing in on the fourth and final quarter, just over a minute and a half left, so get your threes, excuse me, you're already in the third quarter, get your fours ready. Isle State in control right now. Lewis trying to sauce him up. Had a man open, but the contact getting in there too fast. Couldn't get into that throw. Fourth down. It's a good stop by Penn State. Another field goal they'll force. Kick is up. And it's good. 19-7. Ohio State. Thank you, Colt. Knocking down his fourth field goal of the night. So now a 12-point ball game. Penn State does a good job by keeping this a two-possession game. Penn State's offense is going to have to make some plays. Take this one from the five. And a solid return almost to 30. Penn State, they got some time here. Just over 13 total minutes for this game. But they've got to get this offense going. Easier said than done. I know against this tough Ohio State defense, but they definitely have the time and the opportunity to get it done. They have to execute. Looks like Ohio State's going to send some pressure. Safety coming down in the blocks, and they are going to have the sack. Wyatt Harris in the backfield for the six-yard loss. 
Ohio State's defense, man, top tier right now. Top tier right now. One of the hottest defense at this stage of the season. And that's when you want to get hot. It's during playoff time. That pocket collapsed fast. There's a run inside, trying to bounce outside. No, sir. There goes the defense again. The initiator, Russell Shackelford, his third solo tackle of the game. Absolutely shut it down. Third and 17. And they're not even going to snap the ball. That's going to be it for the third quarter. Butcher fours up in the chat. This is it. Big Ten Conference Championship led by Ohio State. It's been a scrapper, 19-7, not high scoring. But right now, Ohio State creating more and more separation. Penn State's defense doing all they can, but Ohio, excuse me, their offense just cannot find the right adjustments to make the big plays on Ohio State. And speaking of big plays, they need a big play right now. 17 yards at the very least to keep this drive going. That's a good pass, force fumble. Fair Gunnell's going to force it. It's going to be recovered by Brock Frederick. And they start off with fireworks on defense. Trying to return the favor from their last meeting. Lambert Smith making the catch. And Ferragamo, man, is just killing it. Excellent field position for Ohio State. They score a touchdown, three-score lead, man. This, this is getting bad for the Nittany Lions. They're starting to bury them. Already in just about field goal range here at the 37. Lewis, the outside the pocket throws. He's got an open case in Bryson. Four first down. They're just feeling it now. Five receptions, 55 yards for Bryson. Pass, slants wide open, back to KB, first and goal, Ohio State. 70 yards now after the 15-yard reception. Ohio State is getting their get back. Empty set. Lewis scrambling, throws. Got a completion. There's a flag. And it's going to be roughing the passer on Lewis after he threw the ball away. Had some extracurricular activities from Marcus Arthur. And so that'll give him a whole new set of downs and move them half the distance from the end of that play from the goal line. Penn State's just starting to break down now. First and goal from the two. They're going to look to try to pass for it. Lewis trying to run away. Down is going to go for a sack. Great job. All right, to Burton. Car Burton able to get to him. Great coverage in the end zone, and Penn State desperately needs to hold Ohio State the three here to keep it at a two-possession game. I think it gets higher than that. I don't know if Ohio State, oh, excuse me, Penn State's going to have it in them. Be able to come back. Lewis scrambling. Bubbles a football. Penn State creating life for themselves here. Joey Porter Jr. recovers. 
And man, it would have been huge if he'd been able to pick that up and run the other way, but Connor ran inside. And that cost him, but that is a huge play by the defense. You saw Lewis was just about to slide, but decided to do so too late. Andy Larson knocks it loose, and Penn State with a chance here. That's some good momentum to swing. Starting from their own eight yard line. There's a throw, that's gonna be incomplete, broken up by KJ Harrison. And that's dangerous, could have been intercepted. Penn State's gonna to have to open up their playbook and look for bigger plays down the field, but of course, coverage has been superb. Scrambling outside the pocket. He's got to throw it away. Everything's on lock. Car seats out there. Third and ten. Throw. The mark, fourth down. They get the turnover, but can't get anything out of it. Three and out by Ohio State. They don't let up a single yard off of three incompletion, uh, in forced incompletions. No punt out of the end zone here. Looking for a big punt. No fair catch it at the bottom, at about the 48, 47 yard line. What's going on, Corbin Coase? First and ten. Here's a run. You're a Wimbush. It'll be inside the 45. 92 yards rushing for Winbush tonight. Nice six yard gain. Draw play. It's a good tackle there. Isaac able to catch him before he could move the chains. Third and three. Another handoff inside, and Wimbush with a mean stiff arm and first down run. And with that carry, he is now over 100 yards rushing in this Big Ten Conference Championship game. Straight up dive, look at the block, boom. Stiff arm, man, he puts the hand right in between the nine and the four of Marcus Arthur. Shut him down, that one. Now set up the play action off the successful runs. Lewis can't see anything open just yet. Throws on the move. It's accurately going to find McCaskill for the first and goal. Beautiful play, 25 yards. This is what happens when you don't take advantage of those opportunities. Penn State got that turnover in the red zone. Lucky to get that. And three and out. Ohio State is right back to work. Real Winbush cutting up a lot. And we'll be down at the eight. Little Ohio State alumni, Drew Brewer in the chat, checking out. Buckeyes, they look to win their third straight Big Ten title. Run right inside, Wimbush. I don't know what's going on there. Had a little moment, but falls to the ground. Third and goal. Six 
Six yards away. Touchdown. More than likely put this away. Lewis going to scramble. He fumbles again. Ohio State will lose the football for a second time down here from a Dylan Lewis fumble. He's got three fumbles tonight. And this time, I mean, I get it. You're right there at the goal line. You're a big quarterback, so he tries to power his way through there. But you got to hold on to the football. Huge fumble. And he stayed in bounds as he recovered it. So Penn State will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, they get some breathing room away from their own end zone. And here's your chance if you're Penn State. Got to put something together. Actually, they're at the 21-yard line here. Pressure coming down. He's going to go for a sack. That is two for Wyatt Harris. And this defense is killing him. Can't get mad at Penn State's defense. I mean, they're doing everything right now. This offense just has not been able to get it together. Second and 17, he'll throw into the flats here, trying to put on a move as he's wrapped up by Harrison. And again, they face a third and 10, forcing two fumbles in the red zone. It'll be tough to face another three and out. Clifford fires, got a man, first down. That's a huge completion. Hayden Saunders with a big grab there. And it was Caden Saunders that cooked the Buckeyes last time. He had nine receptions for 138 yards in that week five matchup and a touchdown. Might be a guy they want to go to a little often. Strange bouncing off a few Buckeyes as he'll go down at the 45. Nice seven yard gain. Time is winding down here though for the Nittany Lions. They're under five minutes to go and they need two touchdowns. So they gotta move a little bit with the quickness. They got some time though. All three timeouts still as well. There goes a the screen. Ford's got the first down. It's a crazy spin move. Gets around Woodell Mack. And they are in Buckeye territory. Close formation. Four minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Out route is there, but he misses him. Got to complete that. Clifford can't find anything. He's going to take off himself. Great job by Brock Frederick. He would have ran more so up the middle. Probably would have been able to get that first down. Probably thought he was going to get a block from his receiver there. It didn't happen. Frederick making a play. We're now under four minutes here. Penn State. Looking. Clifford throws in a heavy trap. And he gets absolutely killed over the middle there. K.J. Harrison with the shot. Saw a bunch of red over the middle of the field. Harrison was seeing red at the end of that play. Big hit stick. And it's fourth down. They're going for it. Clifford misses the pass, and that is a turnover on downs. Four booze raining in heavy here as he has just been doing that all game. So Ohio State gets the stop 
big time missed opportunities on plays like that. And he's got receivers open. He saw him miss an out route earlier. See him miss that drag. Sean Clifford just not locked in. Here's a run. Winbush twirling forward. Now Ohio State, all they got to do is just run the football. And look at this guy. I mean, 108 yards on the ground. Going to be tough to stop him. If I'm Ohio State, I keep this on the ground every play. Running down the clock here. And off. Great play in the backfield. And the timeout's called. I think this is by Penn State. Not exactly sure why they're burning timeouts right now. Draw play. Shut down. No call another one. So, I mean, at this point, Penn State is guaranteeing or hoping that they can recover an onside kick. Shut down at about the 16. Sean Clifford, I mean, had a grand opportunity that last time out onto the field. Crucial missed fourth down pass. And now with 2.44 left to go and just one timeout, I mean, extremely slim chances of a comeback. Especially going to have to work this distance against this defense the way they've been playing. It's getting spooky out there. There's a quick throw. Does complete that drag, and that's going to be a first down for Britton Strange. Hancock on the tackle. Throws on the move, and again, man, he is just, man, all over the place with these throws. Sean Clifford's been a big factor in the victories for Penn State this season. Of course, a big factor in the losses when he doesn't have his best games, didn't have his best here tonight. Trying to get away, takes the shot after the throwaway. He's 50%, 42 passes, only completed 21 of them. Third and 10, and I feel as though Penn State might still try to go for it on fourth down. And shot to try to get 10 here to keep the chains moving, throw into the flats. Great tackle, quickly wrapped up and flung. As Alien Spriggs. And there goes the fourth down attempt. Quick throw. And it's caught by Parker Washington. That'll stop the clock momentarily. First down. Big time catch. Anything can happen in the RFL. Said probably under a 1% chance of a comeback here by Penn State. They need a miracle. And they need big plays to happen. And that's not going to happen as Seth Brewer gets his first sack of the night. Putting on a show right there for his bro. He pretty much ran right into that. Second and 16, shot down the middle of the field in the triple coverage, it's gonna be intercepted. What a game by KJ Harrison. Everyone on this defense is just balling. Way to high point it. And he just tried to go with the deepest play down the field he could on that post. And no, sir. Harrison wasn't having it. 100% game over now. Now Ohio State needs to do is run the football. It's 
So with this win, Ohio State is going to remain the number one team in the country moving into the playoffs and bowl week. Knees taken. Timeout called. That's it for Penn State. Want to get their petty one T.O. out and now just knees here for the Buckeyes. I mean, Penn State had many opportunities. Just squandered them. One score is all Ohio State allowed. Nothing else since. Their defense played well, though. I could say that for Penn State. And that's going to be the final knee of the game. Ohio State has done it again. Two-time back-to-back national champions going to the third straight playoff. And putting this off as they're going to win their third straight conference championship. Penn State just going to throw a Hail Mary up there hoping they can get some points before this is all over with. So definitely be the last play. Only a total of two touchdowns scored in this. Definitely a different game than expected. But the result in favor of the favorites. Shot down the middle of the field. And that's the game. Big Ten Conference Championship is in the books. And Ohio State wins their third in a row. Ferragamo getting player of the game, rightfully so. Eight tackles. He had a sack, forced a fumble. This guy was an absolute beast tonight. K.J. Harrison was put on the show. Everyone was put on the show for Ohio State, man. Defense was turned. Final score, 19-7. Ohio State now will be the number one team in the country still. And so this game was pretty much all about seeding for Ohio State and where they would place in the playoffs. Now they're at the top. So tomorrow's game is going to determine who's going to be the fourth team. Of course, after this little presentation, I'll show you that game, man. That SEC Conference Championship. This is going to be the last Conference Championship game of the week. Conference Championship week almost over, guys. We got three teams. Ohio State, Baylor, and uh, Oregon. Oh, press the wrong button. And this is going to be the last... Uh, last game right here to determine who gets in tonight. There's me, excuse me, tomorrow night. I'm getting all tongue tied. Number six, Tennessee, taking on number three, LSU. Winner takes that fourth and last spot in the RFL Con Series playoffs. That being said, appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow at eight for this game. Till then, peace.